A spirited reception greeted Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos's European tour. Yet despite the fanfare, lackluster support followed his request for post-conflict economic support. Aid dollars pegged at about 45 billion American. German Chancellor Angela Merkel was the only European leader to make any financial commitment. Vague optimism colored Finance Minister Mauricio Cardenas's statements on how the money should be spent at a recent Feliben banking conference in Medellin. Understandably so, as peace talks halted in the wake of a prominent general's suspected abduction by guerrilla opposition group FARC. We are looking at international support for building peace and reconciliation in Colombia. That's why we think we have to complement our own internal funding which is based on taxation of a business and, um, and individuals uh, uh, that are contributing to our tax collections. It's a strategy that has allowed the country to outpace its Latin American neighbors as the fastest growing economy. Transcending the end of the easy cash booms involve single-digit steady Asian-style growth in the oil and coal sectors. Though socioeconomic disparity and low employment are issues the government continues to grapple with, overdue taxation programs are slowly turning the tide. Now, with the end of the civil war on the horizon, the government is focused firmly on attracting even more foreign direct investment. We are at the beginning of a major initiative to build infrastructure in Colombia, which will require uh, more financing from local and international sources, uh, and understanding that the Basel III regulations will provide some restrictions to bank financing of, uh, of infrastructure. Uh, we're ensuring that uh, we will also use uh, pension funds and the capital markets to finance infrastructure. Though the president's global tour focused on Europe, recession ridden Japan has partly pegged its own growth prospects on stronger relations with the Latin American nation. It's a relationship the Santos government plans on further exploiting, whether peace comes in his country tomorrow or years down the road. We're considering the possibility of uh, new bond issues in Japan. Prime Minister Abe was here in Colombia uh, not too long ago, and we discussed special guarantee facility that the JBIC uh, can provide to our sovereign debt, so we're considering uh, bond issues in the Japanese market in the future. A future for Colombians worth getting excited about. Kumada Ramanathan reporting in Medellin, Colombia for World Finance.